Game of Thrones on HBO had this one episode where King Joffrey, the most despicable, horrible person on the planet that should be murdered at some point in the season, uh, in the next <laughs> season, uh, decapitated uh, several men that disagreed with him, okay? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get into the whole storyline. But yes. anyway, uh, he had the princess look at the decapitated head of her father. That's right. right. And That's why he's such a despicable person no, and should definitely be killed within the next season. Uh, by the way, how mad are you that he didn't get killed within this season? I was so angry. Look, for those of you who don't know this, I'm sorry, but I have to say this. Um, I want King Joffrey to die, but I don't want it to be a clean death. I want it to be like a torturous death. <laughs> like, I, I, My favorite line from uh, this season of Game of Thrones is when he sees Stannis' troops coming in. He says, there are too many of them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he decapitates a bunch of people, he uh, trees and yada yada. Uh, the interesting controversy now is who one of the heads is, as it turns out. And uh, should we look at the scene? Let's, and let's see if you can pick it out. I'm sure you won't be able to unless you already know the answer. Let's watch. Do you want to see the rest? If it please your grace. That's your scepter, there. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you a present. After I raise my armies and kill your traitor brother, I'm going to give you his head as well. Or maybe he'll give me yours. Damn! I, I, I hate that little bitch. <laughs> like, I can't stand him, but uh, I, I like what she said right there. That's, that yeah. was good, that was good. Right. Yeah. So uh, if you notice, there was a couple of heads there. If you freeze the picture, which we have, of course, you'll be able, you might be able to tell who one of them is. The guy with the long hair in real life does not have long hair. Can you see the profile there? Uh, and he was a former ruler. <laughs> yes, that's George W. Bush. Now, uh, they claim, but that they're in the prop department, there weren't any other heads lying around, so they used Bush's head. So they had Bush's head lying around? Really? Really? But why? <laughs> no, no, that I could believe maybe was part of another skit or another movie or another TV show, et cetera. But they shouldn't have done that. Not like everybody's laughing about it, and some people are angry, some people are amused and stuff. What I actually don't think is that amusing, to be honest, okay? And then number two, uh, they shouldn't have done it. Okay. I, I, I don't I, know if I'm disagree. being a Debbie Downer, but... No, I'm going to disagree with you. I'm going to disagree because they should have done it if it really was the only head there. Who cares? No one could tell. But when the DVD got released, they decided to include, like, film... Or, you know, the director's commentary and that kind of stuff. And they said, oh, we used uh, Bush's head. That's where you lose me, right? Yeah. Because no one could tell, okay, we believe you, it was only head available, but I feel like now they're trying to stir up some controversy, which I don't understand because it's already such a popular show. And that uh, makes me uneasy. Yeah, and it's not the right way to go. And here's how you can tell. If you're an Obama supporter, Democrat, et cetera, think about if they put Obama's head up there. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? So it should be equally terrible that they put Bush's head up there. So, no, can't have it, can't win with it, can't play with it, shouldn't have done it.